Hey everybody and welcome to the 35th episode of the Phantom Flux podcast. I, as always, am your host KCW and with me uh, we have Slicer. Hello. Zero. Hello. And Kenshi. Hello. I'm Kenshi618 and we don't need sexual performance enhancers at the Palace of Wisdom, but we use them anyway. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> Why not? Because you don't need them. But they make it so much better. He doesn't need it, but he wants it. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like you're, you know, cheating someone else out of using those who might actually need them. Well, they can fork out the $50 it takes to buy just like I did. Uh, What? So it's got uh, a weird start. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, probably dude. the weirdest start ever. Why did you just clarify? Yeah. This is in fact not another episode, episode thirty-four. This is, we're not doing another porn episode. No, that's not. I would have used it yesterday, but I didn't get the. Ch- I mean, I would have used it last time, but I didn't have the chance to. Ah, uh, yeah, it was pretty crowded. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, Ethan's busy, so he's not back again this week. Uh. So as usual, we're gonna do what we're doing because what we're doing is what we're doing. So what we're doing. Start with Slicer. Um, so Demon Souls has been kicking my ass. Like, if my ass was a bongo drum, it would be making tribal music with it. <laughs> so, uh, so I switched to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, which I bought a while back, and holy god, is that a tone shift? But um, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, fun game though, and it also I didn't know this until I uh, popped it in, but it comes with other games uh, in the Kingdom Hearts series. Yeah, really? it's uh, the cutscenes from Chain of Memories and the other one. I don't right? think it's cutscenes. I think it's the full game. But yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can just watch the cutscenes if you want to. I can't remember. I don't think it forces you to play the game to get the plot. Mm. That is apparently integral to the fucking plot of Kingdom Hearts. I didn't know what the fuck was going on when I tried to play Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff that doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you haven't played Recoded. The one in the, the middle. Yeah, or just, you know, watch a playthrough, or just read the summary on the wiki, and then write fanfiction using that summary. Yeah, good luck finding fanfiction. It's that entire section is high school fix and yaoi. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not pretty. It's really not. It's pretty by some people's estimation, yeah, but some not, people are into that. not for, mine. For, like, all of Kingdom Hearts, then? It's just like that, or...? Yeah, it's like... There's maybe 3% that are the actual series. It's Everything else is just yaoi smut. So, my crossover with Persona and Kingdom Hearts is in the minority, then. Pretty much. I'm not no. counting crossovers, just base Kingdom Hearts no. stuff. I, I assume crossovers base? are more series stuff. Yeah, but base is just... <sighs> I, it's I not know. good. Well, it is just basically a crossover factory, in fairness. It is, yeah. It, it, it really is. That's the entire point of it. But uh, My only real complaints of this one is it changed some of the synthesis things, and you got to farm unique, anim- or unique Heartless that are just a pain to fight. They're all gimmick bosses, and I I just spent an hour and a half looking for a single ingredient, and I finally got it, and it was like... I, I don't know. I don't want to say an orgasm, but it was pretty satisfying. Yep. I keep forgetting orgasm. this isn't the, the porn episode. Because I would I like to rephrase to what Slicer hand. just said. Mickey Mouse just gave him an orgasm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be laughing at that. Why am I laughing? Stop. Because you're a sick human being. That's right, I am. But still, stop. Uh, Fine. Uh, that's that's my week, actually. That's it. It's been a very fast week, actually. Just been playing a lot. Hmm. All right. Uh, zero. All right. So, last week I talked about my love for cinnamon raisins for old bread. Yeah, you did. And I didn't get to buy any this week, so I was a little bit sad. That's okay, I linked a recipe in the link dump, so you can make your own. Yeah, although there was, like, <laughs> glaze on it, and there wasn't any glaze on mine. Oh. It was just kind of standard. 
You lost out then. Yeah, uh-huh. I just need to get some glaze next time. Uh, but I went and uh, I was working the other day, like yesterday, and I was uh, working as with the cook until 7, and then I was going to start dishwashing uh, at 7. And the thing, it, we, the thing is, as a dishwasher, aside from washing dishes, which pile up throughout the night, you have to also like make coleslaw and make and like prepare biscuits and everything. So I had to do all of that, which normally I would do it all night, and then I would finish maybe a little bit late, and working throughout the night. But I'd start at seven, so I was way behind. But I finished at ten thirty, which was like the right time to get done because somebody made me a promise. He said, "If you finish by ten thirty, I will buy you ice cream." I have never worked so fast. Never. I swear to God, you're six years old. Yeah. <laughs> I have never, ever worked that fast before. And it was so satisfying. I mean, I have a sweet tooth, but, dude, really? You know ice what? Ice cream? You know what? Free ice cream? Stopping college student. I don't working. care. I don't care. I wouldn't have cared at all. Ice cream is not enough to make me go fast. Two dollars worth of ice cream is not enough to make me go faster than I was. I get I get done on time and I get ice cream. That's worth it for me. The simplest things in life. You want me to do something? Buy me ice cream. You know. I say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. You are the cheapest whore. (laughs) 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 I'm just saying, if you want me to work faster, give me some freaking ice cream. So all I have to do theoretically to lure you into a van is like hold an open box of cookies or something. That's tempting. Stop feeding the shepherds. <laughs> um. So yeah, that happened. Um. Also, my uh, main fic M1N470. Uh, it just passed 400 reviews. So yay, milestone. Clap it up. Awesome, mm. nice job. So, I guess it's kind of important now, almost. Um, but there was that. Um, also, this week I had a, a final. Just yeah. the class was critical thinking. We had to write like three essays out of a list of six, and I suck at writing on paper because just I hold my pencil wrong. I was taught to hold my pencil wrong. Apparently. Also, you don't do that anymore. Yeah, I really don't. So my hand was just cramping up the entire time, and I feel like I... Uh... So... Yeah. Also, I've been reading Kingdom, as per Casey's old, old, old recommendation. That's why I said watch the anime, but yes. Yeah, I've been reading it, though, because I read way faster than watch. Uh, but... Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's a good series. Mhm. It's very historical, but at the yeah, same time, it, it's in a period that they don't have much detail yeah, on, so they're filling in a lot of blanks. Yeah, but at the same time, it's very just interesting, mm. like with the characters and everything. So I was really enjoying reading that. And let's see, ice cream for my face. Not that done. <laughs> Uh, oh, on his checklist, he's got ice cream. <laughs> yeah, ice cream. Ice cream's the most important one, possibly. Um, oh yeah, I also did. Uh, since I've got some friends who are out of state and whatnot, we've been doing Roll Twenty for D and D. The online D and D. Yeah, so that was interesting. Interesting uh, getting used to that because face cams and everything, and. Uh, it's it's weird. We we eventually just got sidetracked and didn't make any progress in the quest. Cause screw it. Yeah. You know. Also, my character's insane in that. He's kind of gone and he's kind of portraying himself as insane. My character's name is Xander, but whenever somebody asks what his name is, I introduce himself as Morpheus, the game master. I said I am Morpheus, the game master. Like what kind of game? Like the game of life. Huh. Okay. Why am I doing this? It's simple. I am thinking ahead. It, it, when, when all crap breaks loose, you'll be like, that guy's insane. He's just insane. He has nothing. And then, boom! 
kill you. All planning. Right. That's also, it's a pretty really insane fun. plan, but I suppose it's a plan. Mm. Also, it's just really fun to see uh, my friend's reaction as he DMs. It's just hilarious. Uh, well, you are a player, so it is your job. Screw with mm. the yeah. DM. Yeah, that's my own personal way of screwing with the DM. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for what I did this week. Okay, Ken. All right. I am working 12-hour shifts, so I'm very Ooh. tired. Yeah, uh, first time I'd do that at this job. So, yeah, I'm still coming down off of that, and I gotta go in later. But we got a new reporter at the station, and she's just adorable. <laughs> okay. And I'm not the new guy anymore, so there's that. Also true. Yay seniority over someone. <laughs> mm. Even if it's just one person. And let's see, what else have I done? Let's see, updated one story and just basically been sleeping. Mm. Because my body doesn't like being up at night and it's been doing exclusively that. That is so completely foreign to me. I can be up the entire night even if I haven't slept in 24 hours, but the, si the second the sun comes up, I'm just asleep. Mm. Here's the thing, I actually like sleeping. A lot. Yeah, sleeping's great. I like doing it, though, when there's nothing else happening, which is, like, at night. I Things go wrong when I go to sleep. What does that even mean? Okay, I took... When I went to bed... Whenever I went to bed last, I can't remember. I don't care. Anyway, when I did that, and I started up my computer, uh, Adblock had stopped working for some re weird reason. So, yeah, that was a thing. So I had to deal with ads until it started working again. Okay. I'm going to blame that on sleep, just because. I also, saw that, I also saw that movie, The Raid, that I never got to see. Dear God. I want to see that really badly. Oh my God. That is now my favorite fighting movie. The Raid. Yeah, I, I can see why. It's okay. like action movies taken up to, I want to say 11, but it needs to go higher than that. Like, 14. I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say... Do you mean The Raid Redemption or The Raid 2? The Raid Redemption, because I wanted to see The Raid 2, but I hadn't seen Redemption first when it was in theaters. So I had to watch that. Uh, Fun fact, a lot of the fight scenes in the TV show Arrow are actually based on the ideas of the style of fighting in the raid and now Redemption. I want to watch that more oh my god mm. yeah if memory serves is there like a scene in Redemption where a guy gets his head slammed into a light or something in a wall or slammed yes. into a wall several times as he goes down yes. the wall yeah yes. they do that in Arrow at one point <laughs> it's very cool <laughs> never seen the film but it was very cool in the show just wanted to throw that out there uh, I'm not going to spoil anything about that movie, but I will say that if you like your mindless violence, you should watch that movie. Mm. Mindless violence. If I missed any links, Kingdom Hearts, Demon Souls, The Raid Redemption. And you also missed ice, and ice cream. Yeah, ice, ice cream. cream. Okay. That's a that's a very specific link. I yeah. intend on asking for vanilla, by the way. My personal favorite. Your favorite ice cream is vanilla? Yep. You may ask why. The answer is, I don't know. It just is. <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> okay. So yes, The Raid Redemption is apparently a very good film, with cool fighting. It's exclusively cool fighting. Mm. Bru uh, brutal fighting use, as well. They use, they use guns at the start, but about 20 minutes in, there's no more guns. Mm. <laughs> it's probably just and to get people to watch the movie. Is, you know, America and our guns. America. Yep. And that's pretty much all. I haven't done anything of any real substance this week. <clears throat> all right. I've not benefited mankind at all in the last week. Well, you worked. Like, news stuff helps. Mm. Oh, that. that. I mean, I mean, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, I'll give you that. 
news counts as contribution. Uh, so what I did this week, uh, Dynasty Warriors is less fun the longer you play it. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. It gets really dull really quickly. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit pissed off though. I, uh, bought it for 360 because there is no Dynasty Warriors game on PC at all. Until last week. Hmm. When, uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Legends, the, uh, full complete edition that is not on 360, uh, was released on Steam. Didn't. Yeah. That's that's bad timing. Bad, bad timing. I am not pleased about that, that they finally put a game on Steam and I can't play it because I already bought that game. And the shittier version on 360, that's not cool. So... Never had that happen before. That must suck. Yeah, a little bit. It's a weird thing. They released the Enhanced Edition Legends on PS3 mm -hmm. and then didn't release it on 360 because Japan, they don't care about 360 at all. No. But then they Not suddenly released it on Steam and fucking, they've never had a game on Steam. So, it's weird. I was, I'm going to assume that was like a test to see how well it would sell. Mm, Plus, fine. I mean, what's it going to hurt? If I, I don't know how much they would actually need to change around to make the port work, but, I mean... Well, I would assume they have uh, graphical settings and such things that they need to implement. Mm, right. Which probably takes a little bit of work. I don't know how much, but it probably takes a bit of work. I don't know anything about game development. At least, not the actual development part of it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that happened. That kind of sucked. What didn't suck was putting up every episode... Of the backlog of the backlog of the podcast on our YouTube channel. Pretty sure that did suck. Attentive listeners might remember that we were supposed to have those like one every two days or something, or two every <sighs> three day, every or... two days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't work. So you get everything now. Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna keep picking at that, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> See, when I uplo upload things, I have to do them like one every few days because they don't upload any faster than that. You were telling me you'd get to do them like one every 15 minutes or something like that. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> it's kind of nice. <laughs> it's nice living on a coastal area. Fuck everything. <laughs> I don't live in a coastal area. I live in the Midlands. Well, you might as well live in a coastal area compared to the United States. I suppose, but I'm literally as far away from the coast as you can get in England. So Yay. is Zero in the United States. I mean, so is Slicer in the United States. <laughs> I'm, I'm in California. The coast is just a couple of hours away. You can drive to the beach. Funnily Slice enough, that's probably... pretty much the same distance I am away from the beach. <laughs> Slice is probably 1,500 miles away from the nearest large body of water. I'm in the exact center of the U.S., yes. Like, Literally the exact center. Hmm. I feel like at one point we might have had a topic. But I can't... Yeah, that was a. We're doing a thing. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So. What were we talking about? Putting things up on the doing? YouTube channel. Yes. So that all got put up. And we're going to start putting up the Let's Play stuff. We've got uh, the Pokemon stuff that's got like 12 hours of content that I have to put up over the next however long it takes. We should probably record more of that at some point, but we'll get yeah. to that when uh, stuff happens. We've also got some uh, worm stuff that were recorded. I think it was last week or the week before. Something like that. I think two weeks ago. Yeah. So we recorded a few episodes of that, which is going to be good stuff. It's pretty entertaining. I liked it. If I may say. So, uh, yeah, we've got that going up. And every episode of the podcast will now be uploaded on YouTube, as and when I upload it on the Blogspot page on Foreshared. So you'll be able to view it either, well, experience it, view it as a misnomer, on either the YouTube channel or downloading it through Foreshared. I will probably be, be adding a direct download from our fucking cloud space storage stuff thing. I suck at terminology. But 
yeah, you'll be able to download it directly without having to use 4Shared at some point in the future. Probably somewhat soon. And, I didn't know uh, we had another thing. Yeah, the website that I have yet to design is... Uh, oh, right, right. It gets 15 gig of storage space, so I could just put up all the episodes there. For now. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I bought a shitload of PC parts. I am pretty much just a dedicated PC gamer now. Aside from having my 360 downstairs, I'm playing everything on PC now, because... It's easier. It's easier, and I don't have to hmm and ha over which console I want to get and which games I want to miss out on. Unless I decide, hmm, okay, if I want to play all the games, I need to buy exactly the same product twice. That is not cool. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, most games have a, a PC port. Uh, most. If they're on Sony consoles, it's a bit iffy, but yes. I'm not expecting to see Infamous Second Son, for example, on PC anytime soon. Well, that would be on Origin, so... Would it? Yeah, yeah. That Sony stuff goes on Origin, doesn't it? No, that's EA stuff. Yeah, Never mind. I was going to say... I'm mixing up companies. Yeah. Yeah, so probably never going to play that game, unfortunately. Oh, well. Eh, your character dies in the end, so I don't care. Not Does in really? Second Son. Yeah. Your character sacrifices himself that in was the good ending. That too. Oh, once again, mixing things up. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Dude, no one's on the ball in this episode of the podcast. Jesus. I'm on the ball. I don't know I'm gonna class. swear. I've been leveling for the past nine hours. Do you have any idea how, how mindless that is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten. What are you counting? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's it? I... Fifteen. What? Fifteen. What's a fifteen-sided shape? I don't know. Because that's Zero's avatar thingy. It's like a not quite square with a triangle on top sticking out of it, so... I have no idea what you call that shape with fifteen sides. What the hell am I talking about? I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, this is getting cut because I... Okay. I just went on a complete tangent that I'm probably going to be cutting out. There's probably. kind of a little bit of a heat wave thing going on. It's very warm in here and I'm sweating a lot, so... Uh... It's a Hennigan. It's a Hennigan. Thank you. Zero. <laughs> That's not going to make any sense because I'm going to cut that shit out, but yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a 15-sided shape, in case you're just tuning in. <laughs> Thank you, Google. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay. So, uh... Wait, no, wait, no. I was wrong. Minutes? It's not Pentagon. It is... Um... Pentagon. Pentagon. You're not helping, Zero. Yeah, you're not. Uh... Pentagon. Shut up, Zero. So, uh, I bought a lot of PC parts, like I said. So... Massively upgrading my computer tomorrow after I've uh, uploaded all the episodes and stuff on YouTube. He's being responsible and doing it after this, so he doesn't screw it up. And yeah, that's be without a computer for the episode. Yeah, that would be a bad thing to uh, lose pretty much everything. So yeah, I've got an i5 processor and a 500 gig SSD and stuff and things. If that didn't make any sense to you, congratulations, you're normal. Yeah. Yay! Eight gig of memory, so I'll have sixteen. Yeah, it's uh. By the way, it's not cool when you make a massive up upgrade to your computer and you go on a forum and then immediately someone says, "Hey, what game should I buy for my new PC? I got an i7 and all this old awesome stuff that is slightly better than yours." Mm. <laughs> you immediately upgrade, and someone immediately one ups you right after. It's not cool. So uh, yeah, that happened too. That's pretty much all that happened this week, because things. Heat wave. Can't really think very well at the moment. But, uh... <laughs> so we're going to move on to our next topic. What's our next topic? Seriously, what's our next topic? I can't remember. Bleach. Bleach, thank you. Topic list. Yes, Bleach. The one we do every week after what we're doing. God damn it, seriously? <laughs> the absent-minded episode. Yeah. 
Sound of Flux has seat stroke this week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. So Bleach. My response is what. I, I ha- before we get into what Bleach is, can we talk about what Bleach isn't? You remember how they do every single time a villain dies, they go into their backstory and what tragedies they were and all that stuff? Yes. Mm-hmm. The one time I wanted it with fucking Brain Guy and how he got to be a stone writer and they don't show it? That would have actually been nice. Yeah, you're right. How the hell is a brain a stone writer? <laughs> Why is he a brain? Why is he a brain? What happened to the rest of... Was there a rest of him? Was he always just a brain? These questions need answering. Much more than a lot of other stuff. enemy character. And and when they've got an interesting concept around them, you want to find out why. I wouldn't call it an interesting concept. You're reaching a little far there. But, I mean... (laughs) Interesting as in you kind of want to find out why. I call it something that requires more explanation than they gave. Which was none. Yeah. So... Imagination lad, imagination brain got no... No exposition or tragic backstory. He's just the brains of the operation. <laughs> Damn it, I Let came up with another one. stop this last week. <laughs> I totally didn't mean to do that, but then it came to me and I just had to say it. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. He gets nothing. Shame. Because he really yeah, they needed... Just, some... they, just, they just moved right along. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're listening and taking notes from our rants, my rants that I tend to make, and decided... Well, they need to listen harder. And decided the worst possible time to just say, okay, we're going to stop doing the villain backstory because people hate it. Mm. When they really needed to do it this time. <laughs> okay, moving on to what actually happened in the chapter. So, um, who wants to kick us off? Alright, so apparently... After defeating a person who had all the power of his imagination at his disposal, Zaraki is too tired to fight four chicks with pretty one-dimensional powers. Yeah, we already have a name for one of them, I'm fairly certain. It's pretty self-explanatory that one of them is going to be called Big Mouth. Or whatever the Japanese translation of that is. Yeah, doesn't even bear thinking about, she's going to be called Big Mouth. I don't even care what her name is. They might name her a thousand times. I'm just going to call her Big Mouth. Like, okay, so I was I was reading that, right? And then her mouth suddenly extends, and she bites off, like, a dude's head or something. Several dude's and then, heads. There's several dude's heads. I'm just like, uh, I couldn't. Why? <laughs> yeah. You could have thought of something so much better for a power based off gluttony. Like, if you want to make her a glutton, okay. Okay, I understand that. What'd she do? Her mouth extends, and she bites things. What? <laughs> like, I'm just dumbfounded of where you got that idea that you could just make somebody's mouth go outwards yeah. and extend. Like, freaking Goku's Wapping. power pole and just bite people. It's, it's one thing to have a really shitty power just sort of appearing and being sucky and such things, but to have it immediately following the Imagination Lad I mean, brain. you had, you had I mean, Superstar, then you had Imagination Lad, whose name we do not know, and then you have the yeah. powers. Imagination Lad, okay, okay, I get, okay. That, that was kind of interesting. I wonder what else he's got. Oh, she, she eats people by extending her mouth. Sideways. Sideways. Not down, like most people do it, so that yeah, it extends like yeah. a snake or something. But so she's sideways. got, like, sideways, and she bites with the side of her mouth while talking. What? Come on. I mean, I can understand that in everyday life that might be a useful skill if you want to eat and talk at the same time and maybe sneak somebody else's food. But still, in battle, <laughs> that is not a viable skill. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. You're just like, here's my mouth. Come on and chop it with your sword. Slice it in half. Yeah, that's... It's not exactly a battle power, is it? 
No, it really isn't. Like, no. okay, you're shrimp, you're, you're weaker than me, so I can just bite you. Okay, what if they're stronger than you? Are you just gonna, I, you can't punch them, because your power is your mouth. It would make more sense if she was a hollow, because that was kind of their thing. They ate yeah. constantly, they ate things, yeah. but she's not. In fact, she is pretty much the diametric opposite of a hollow. Yeah, and then there was yeah, that other is. girl, and her power, her power was zombie. So basically, I'm guessing she can bring back people from the dead. And and basically, her get... power is like controlling. If she, if you bleed on her, if she bleeds on you, she can control you. Yeah, it's closer to the actual idea of a zombie from yeah, you and stuff, uh... I guess. But I, feel I honestly like, didn't I feel even like... make notes about her because fucking big mouth. I honestly yeah. have nothing. So <laughs> she stole the show, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, all the other girls are like, like, one girl had a power of lightning. Okay. Okay, that, that's not really imaginative, but okay. Another cool. girl, yeah, you know, it's cool. You know, it's really, like, I've seen other characters use lightning in their powers before, with their Zarbok toes and whatever. But okay, I, I can let that pass. Big Mouth. <laughs> Why? And then Zombie. I'm like, okay. Maybe. Maybe. I don't even remember what the other chick's powers were. Like, seriously. No. I don't either. <laughs> there was like four, weren't there? Yeah, there's four. And I'm just disappointed in the world right now. <laughs> okay. Um, Strong reaction. Like, this girl's power. I'm, I'm, reading, I'm looking through it right now. You got the Thunderbolt. You've got, oh yeah, power. Her, her power is power. She so she's, she's, oh she's yeah oh uh, okay she punches things yeah she's and tsunami. then this girl she just extends her mouth eating people and talking at the same time <laughs> and like her teeth are going sideways or something I don't know she looks like her mouth could very well be tentacles she could it's, be it's like it's not even malevolent it's just rude you don't talk with it, your mouth <laughs> yeah she just like. You know that you know parts of the Caribbean. Davy Jones, he has that tentacle mouth. Yeah, that's kind of what she has. <laughs> it's a minor version of it. Like except the teeth. That's basically it. My gosh. And apparently they raffle stomp Ken Pachi. Mm. So. Yeah, and then there's this zombie girl who gets like stabbed and like, okay, is she gonna knit herself close or something? No, she just pushes herself back together. What? Come on, if you're going to be a zombie, you got to do something like that, at least. More imaginative than just regeneration. Yeah. yeah. Well, regeneration has been pretty much the uh, watchword for the entire series, so... Yeah, and yeah. at the end, we see a blast shakes the skies. It's dot, dot, dot. And, and I'm Ichigo. pretty sure it's Ichigo. Uh, and they made the whole symbol of the whole blasting look like a skull, which was kind of neat. Mm. Some, so, yeah, but it's Ichigo, and we all know it's Ichigo. And he's going to be here, and he's going to be like, hey, bros, it's Ichigo. And we're going to be like, hey, Ichigo, let's see how much power you have. And yeah, he's gonna yeah I'm going to show off by we... being all these girls that just warped Kenpachi. Because... Yeah, all these weak little girls who were too weak to take out Kenpachi, so they waited until he was weak and tired. Yay, look how much I've grown, Kenpachi. Mm. <laughs> it really was kind of a wharf, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit. A really shitty wharf, but a wharf, nonetheless. <sighs> so, I don't even need to say it anymore, but Bleach continues to disappoint. Yeah. yeah. The fact that I don't need to say it anymore suggests that it's not actually disappointing anymore. It's just, yeah, that's Bleach. Yeah, war arcs tend to have that effect. I've noticed. I don't know. Has a, has the series done war right? Uh, I mean, you Attack on Titan me? is kind of based around it, so that counts, I guess. Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho probably did it pretty well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good uh, one. And Hunter x Hunter, while the ant thing dragged on for quite a while... Too long, it was, really. It was but done well. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any others at the moment. Oh! 
Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, yeah. Uh, one one piece said the White Beer War. That too. I don't count that as a war. I count that as one battle. It, it was, that was yeah, a it was battle. War, but that was a battle, but it was epic enough to be a war. In my opinion, it had a lot of people in it. I guess so. It involved pretty much the entire upper, upper echelon of the Marines, the one military force in the world. I think that technically counts as a war. If every admiral and the fleet admiral and most of the vice admirals are involved, I think you can yeah. call that a war rather than a battle. Yeah, it kind of was a war because there were tons of like individual battles in it, you know? Mm. Point taken. Like, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Bleach Let's... sucks. Let's continue. Let's continue. To Naruto. Hey, remember when we said that Sakura is probably going to do something completely useless last week? Well, I hope someone sure picks up that phone. <laughs> because I called it. Yeah, I wasn't going to answer that. I wasn't going to dignify that with a response. Uh, yeah, so, um... I just want to call out this one quote. I've finally been able to bring these two back together. Did did Sakura actually do anything? No. To make that happen at all? She got stabbed, so they both had something to keep her from getting murdered. So I guess that counts. Does it though? I mean, they were back together before that, and did she do anything for the entirety of Shippuden to get them back together? Well, she almost got murdered that first time. They got oh, back God. Together. <laughs> it's actually astonishing the amount of times you're managing to say, well, she almost got murdered and trying to use that as a positive thing. <laughs> yeah. That's all I've got. <laughs> this is horrendous. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, and then she goes and does the... I have a super move too. I learned Sinade's super punch thingy with the diamond marking thingy. That oh God! Yeah, marks. I remember that. That was and then eh, rejected, and she immediately gets immediately <laughs> gets <laughs> stabbed. <laughs> yeah, that yeah that happened. So uh, remember how we said that Sakura is going to continue to not be useful at all? If yeah, we called that one. Again, I feel like they didn't even try to make it seem like she was useful. They didn't even try. They just said, okay, yeah, we're just going to quietly well, move her to the side so we can have the actual fighters get on with it. They kind of did. I mean, uh, she did use her top ability, the regeneration thing, which in a lot of situations would be enough to win the battle, just not that one. Yeah. Hmm... And then we have the final thing that happened in this chapter, and I know Ken wants to talk all about this one. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Go on, Ken. Tell us what happens. Okay. Oh, I just remembered that. I had managed to block that out until now, and oh, God. Go on, Ken. Tell us. Which one do you want me to talk about, actually? Because there's a few things. I was actually all talking about the... Um... The, well, in my notes it just says, oh god, it's happening again. The, uh, <laughs> meteor thing. Oh yeah, you mean this time it's not just... Well, it's, it's not. It's technically not a meteor. He didn't pull it down from fucking space. He pretty much just picked up gigantic mile-sized chunks of the actual battlefield. Like, 12 of them. Oh, I thought that was in space. No, it was actually from the battlefield. Oh, uh, okay. Still. And... Yeah, even, I mean, one was enough. One is enough. Two is enough. <laughs> but we got 12 of them. Yeah. Yay! Because Madara is just that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got everyone's powers just way better than theirs. Because the next generation's better, right? Yeah. That's how it works, right? But, yeah, that happened. And apparently, as if Ross and Shuriken wasn't overkill enough, and Tailed Beast Ball wasn't overkill enough, now there's a Tailed Beast Ross and Shuriken. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes dust just isn't done enough. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, you know what I you know what I want to see? I want to see a series that gives their gives their main villain every single freaking power makes give every, gives the hero every single power, and then at the end they just make it so they both lose all their powers and they just have to end it with a fist fight. Just straight up fist fight. That's that happens. That, happens. that was the end of Full Metal Alchemist action. Yeah. That's how I like it. That's how I like. That's how I like my series to end. That's how Naruto should end with a fist fight. Because why not? And then Naruto would lose because his actual hand to hand skills are pretty shitty. Or actually, I don't know. Uh, a few different fights in Yu Yu Hakusho end like that. Actually, they just that's the, slug that's each other like until you. somebody falls that's why over. I like it's Yu Yu like, Hakusho so like much. Every one of Yu's case fights. I like I like fights like that because screw your power up, screw your magical whatever. I'm just gonna punch you, and you're gonna punch back, and let's do this. You know, that's how you do it. Yeah. Hmm. That's how so that's a disappointing end. anime section, I believe. Manga, but yes. Uh, yeah, same thing. Manga me. Yeah, now it's time to reflect the eye off the moon and have a gigantic dream fight phase. Oh god, we're doing everyone, that, aren't we? Yeah, where everyone has to break through the dream to get back to reality. Probably. Uh, actually, if they do the Road to Ninja kind of approach, where everyone gets sent to their own unique world, they're not That's going to, obviously, because that would take a hell of a long time, but, uh, uh, that would be kind of cool. I would like to see that. Hey, everyone gets their own separate reality where everything goes right for them. That's the dream. That's pretty much the idea, isn't it? Yeah, I pretty much the whole thing. I kind of want to see what that is for a lot of the side characters. Just, you know, for some kind of characterization. Yeah... I mean, you Side know, characters being basically everyone but Team Seven, I guess at this point. Yeah, yeah you have to wait for the anime for that. Yeah, they're probably gonna do that for filler or something, right? Yeah. Mm. That that probably the first time I ever looked forward to filler. Mm. Oh well. So, manga section is now done. Yay! Yay! That was an experience. Um. Next topic is favorite and least favorite writing aspect. So, what's our favorite and least favorite things that involve that are involved in writing a story? I guess a silly one, but uh, I like writing future plot points, and I hate current things. Whatever is currently happening, because mm. it's so much easier to write future stuff, even if it's not ever going to be possible to happen. That's true. I think that's mostly because future stuff, you haven't written it yet, and current stuff, you're writing it, which means you're typing it, and typing sucks. Just the act of actually typing things out when you've already got everything planned out, that sucks. Yeah. It's not fun. Mostly. Well, because you're essentially doing it twice, so mm. you know, it's already in your head. You just got to put it down. I'm actually kind of curious. Ken, what's yours? All right. My least favorite thing, and I don't know if this counts. For continuity's sake, I have to read my own stuff back, and I hate reading my own stuff back. Really? What, really? Yeah, can't stand it. Slicer actually huh. mentioned something about this to me recently. He just said, am I weird for reading my own stuff back and liking it? I said, yeah, it's it's pretty normal to just read it back and enjoy it because you wrote it, so it's written with your it is preferences your taste. Yeah. in mind. I... The thing is, because this also kind of bleeds into my favorite, because my favorite thing is when I'm writing something and it's catching on with me, and I know it's and I it it, it entertains me while I'm writing it. Like I'm getting into it while I'm writing it. It's my favorite. That's the best feeling. Mm. Agreed. But I can't read it back. I can barely read. I even if like I way past the phase where my stuff where I know my stuff is abysmal. Like my first story, earliest chapters of that, I can't read that back at all. I just can't. I stop. I can't. I, yeah. stop. I have to stop. But even for the recent stuff, like even if it's just, even if I'm just reading back a chapter I just put out, it's hard for me to get through it because I already know it. It's in my head. I don't need to read it. It's in my head. I just read it back for continuity's sake to make sure I don't miss something when I'm updating. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. It's weird. It's it's probably weirder that I don't read it back with everything I've done. 
or that I don't like reading back after everything I've done. But yeah, for some reason, for some reason, reading back, I can't read back my own chapters word for word. Hmm. <sighs> you do write long stuff, so I suppose that would take a while. Yeah. It's not just like a few thousand words. It's a lot more than that. Yeah. Hmm. Zero? Mm. Yeah, I should probably speak up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, least favorite, you know, least favorite writing aspect, what I don't like about writing is, and this is me, it's it's having to send it in to be beta, having to edit. <laughs> Goddamn that's, writers. That's just me. Because when I want to, when I write something, I immediately want to publish it. Yep. Immediately. So I really don't like sending it in to get it baited. Especially when I do it twice, just to make sure it's good. Because at the same time, you know, at that one, at the same time as, oh, I'm feeling like, ah, oh, man, I just want to publish it. I still want it to be good. You know? Yeah. Uh, I just want to cut in. Neil just left us a fucking comment. And you know what? Woo! I'm going to call him out on this. He has figured out when we record every week. So I'm just going to say no. This time, I am not going to have your question answered right now. We're going to leave it till next week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's cracked Don't the code. Like that. <laughs> Does this oh. every week. I'm not going to have it anymore. <laughs> We're going to leave it till next week. You can wait like everybody else. Clever dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to answer that question too, but wait. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, continue. So, uh, favorite aspect of writing for me is actually writing. And, like, writing will you are inspired to have an idea. Like, you know what you want to write, and you really want to write it, so you you actually are able to do that, you're able to get that out on paper. I just love doing that. That's, yeah. Favorite part so, of writing is the actual writing. Least favorite part of writing is the actual editing. That sounds like uh, writing in the zone, I suppose you could call it. Mm. Yeah. Because when you really want to write and you've been waiting for that one moment where this one scene, you really wanted to write it so badly that you've been going through everything to get to this one scene and then you actually do it it feels so great mm. <clears throat> so yeah that's it for me yeah I think that's everyone covered I, I think I, my serious answer would probably be I don't like writing scenes that don't have the main character in them I don't, I don't know why it just has to do with my unique tastes I guess I struggle with those a lot hmm I guess that feels mostly like flavor, and it's not moving things along a little bit. I actually, yeah, it sometimes. Right. Yeah. I actually like writing scenes with the main character in them sometimes because it it really sometimes I'm t I'm just tired of writing the main character the entire time, and I just want to see what everybody else's thoughts in the uh, whole situation are, and you can get everybody else's thoughts of what the main character is to them. Hmm. That's just me. I'm weird, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so... Hang on, what are we at? Time-wise, we are at 50 minutes. Is that all? Jesus. Okay. My yeah. end will be in a short one. Never mind. Uh, next topic is best villain. That's a question. Yeah. Dead silence. I, I love it. Like a villain. I, I assume somebody else is going to answer. Actually, um, best. Freaking, we have to give an example. I guess. I um, really like Scar and Maleficent from their respective series. Scar from Lion Maleficent King? is just evil. It's, that's her thing. She is the mistress of all evil. That's it. That's it. That's. She doesn't have a reason, and Scar just wants to lead. I guess. He doesn't leave very well, but he wants to. I, I'm going to have to say Kid Boo. Why Kid Boo? Because he just wants to destroy stuff. There's no reason. There's no purpose. You're not going to reason with this guy. You just Isn't he evil him. incarnate or something? That's yeah, kind of basically. Thing. 
You just fight him. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to worry about him spewing ideologies at you or trying to, like, make you come over to his side because he just wants to kill everything. It's simple. He, he sounds like that series is Angra Manu, or however you, pr- mm. however you pronounce that. Yeah, yeah, he kind of is. Uh, but... <laughs> Sorry. It just sounds like he's what? saying Angry Man, you. <laughs> you Angry well, how Man, you. <laughs> yeah, I, I like a villain that's smart. I like a villain that can, you know, do that. But sometimes you really need a villain where it's just like, I need to stop this guy. I can't reason with him. I just need to fight him. And and to be honest, that's, that's the classical type of villain. Mm. Which is like, they're evil, you stop them. There, there's no, hey, I'm your father or anything like that. It's just you gotta fight him. You gotta I think him. they don't always need a reason, but if they do, they need to be so sure of that purpose that you can't persuade them away easily. And, and if or you can't all. persuade them away easily, you have to have some sort of boss or something like more evil and is sure of that reason. Somebody's gotta be sure. Mm. They can't all be unsure. Yeah, I do like the big bad, mostly because they end up being something of a unifying antagonist. I like that, when it's just sort of, there's this one big bad and everyone who has really vastly differing ideologies and all this stuff, they conflict over and over again, but eventually they realize, okay, we have to deal with this other thing or it's going to fuck us all up anyway. Mm. I like that kind of story, so I like villains that do that. I suppose if you want to mm-hmm. go for a really, really obvious example, not one that I like, but an obvious example would be Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can see that. Sort of unifying men and elves and dwarves and all that stuff. It's the I example really that I came up with, but I can't series. think of a better one that I like. What'd you say, Slicer? I really need to watch that series. I watched the first movie like shortly after it came out, and then just never touched it again. It's it probably looks a bit dated by now, but uh, yeah, it's well, yeah. okay. Good films. I think it's been long enough that the I'm not sure if I ever told the story of the girl at my elementary school who was uh, very serious about wanting to marry Legolas, not the actor, Legolas. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. Do you, think she was, kinda... like, do you think she had, like, the cosmetic surgery to have pointy ears later in life? Maybe. I think she probably calmed down eventually. She wasn't... I th- it was just that one thing about her that was weird. She was a regular girl otherwise, but I think it's been long enough that's not tainting my perception of the series anymore. <laughs> so you were traumatized as a child from an interaction with a person that you knew to keep you from watching that movie. Mm. Sure. Well, yes, actually. I was asking. I wasn't just making a generalization. I was asking that question. Yes. Oh, God. I can't think of... what I I don't normally think of villains that Mm. much. Mostly because most of the villains we deal with are shit. Well, yeah. Shonen villains are pretty universally terrible. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think beyond that, and I'm still not thinking of anything. Oh god, I just realized that Obito is technically one of those unifying villains. Could have used him as an example. Yeah, actually, I, a worse I example than uh, going to, than Sauron. But uh, that's pretty much why I didn't use him. So, <laughs> yeah. No, because What's there's, a difference Sauron, between, anyway? there's a difference between joining up together for a cause to stop an enemy that you know is going to fuck you all over, and there's doing that and then realizing it's all about peace and love in the process let's not go back to talking about that I had to (laughs) friendship speeches I had to make that jab love and kindness yay and trees peace love and trees (laughs) yeah I guess Konoha was like in the right all along it's okay to be a tree hugger and all that stuff and things. Uh, all right, let's stop. We're yeah. going to start. We can't stop. Let's yeah. just go. Oh, I'm thinking of movies and everything. Yeah. I can't, think of, I can't think of a comic villain that I think is 
awesome in either. Deathstroke's pretty good. Deathstroke, I don't really... I don't really count him as the best sort of villain. I can't see him I as like Deathstroke, him. actually. I like I, him, but... I saw the Teen Titans cartoon too far, too much first, so I just can't see him as Deathstroke. He's I, I, think, I think the Teen Titans version... <laughs> okay. Teen Titans cartoon version of Deathstroke. I just call him Slade. He's not. He's not Deathstroke. His name's actually is Slade. Yeah, but, that's his name, yeah. Slade Wilson. Yeah, but he he's 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 quote unquote Slade. Yeah, okay. that that's who he is. He's, to me, Deathstroke is just a tryhard, grimdark version of Slade. So I I don't know. That's just how I see it. I don't it, know a lot about the. I didn't watch that. the cartoon, so I don't know what you're alluding to with this very specific acknowledging him as Slade. He's, I don't know, cartoonish, they they I suppose. Couldn't say, but... They couldn't say death, they probably couldn't say Deathstroke. Yeah, they couldn't show. say Deathstroke uh, in the show. Not on, no. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. I do like the Arrow version of Deathstroke, though. I think he's a very good villain. I can't really talk more about it because Ken's going to watch the show. He's going to watch the show and it's going to be awesome. But, uh, I know. Yeah. I need to. You keep saying stuff about it that keeps making me think I really need to watch this show, so I need to get around to doing it. It'll be this week. It has to be this week. Yeah. So they put a lot of effort into giving him proper backstory, and he's not even a villain at first, because they spend pretty much half the show doing flashbacks to when Ollie was on the island, and that's where he meets Slade Wilson, who is Australian... Uh, I don't know what the exact term is. ASIS or something? It's like the SAS, but for Australia. Ah. Yeah. And... Uh, special forces? Yeah, forces or that whatever. kind of thing. And it's really great, because they build up the relationship between him and Ollie, and they bond and stuff over, you know, almost dying several times, and then stuff happens. And it's awesome. So, I think he's a good villain. Yeah, you get you you're taking it from the show villain, which is I different am. from like it the... is a different one, and that's why I acknowledge it as the Arrow Deathstroke and not the Deathstroke Deathstroke. Because the Deathstroke I'm used to, I like him, but he's not top villain mm. to me. He's not really villain in the comics anymore, is he? Not really. Sort of, kind of an anti, not even anti-hero or anti-villain. He's sort of just in the middle, just does things. Yeah, he's just neutral, pretty much. Yeah. I thought he was just a mercenary to begin with. So yeah, that's he all just... he is. <laughs> He fucked with the Teen Titans because someone hired him to do it, and then eventually it started. To, he got obsessed with that because he's kind of crazy, but really he's just like neutral, chaotic, neutral. He doesn't really give a fuck. Hmm. So, out of everything we've talked about or thought about or whatever, what do you guys say best villain? Deathstroke. I still say Maleficent. Maleficent. Okay. Um, Dwight Goodman from Dodgeball. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. Why could you just let them have their gym? <laughs> Wait, so you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball movie? Yeah, yeah that's Or is that one. something else? Yeah, I, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I think it was uh, Will Ferrell who played him. Have fun losing with these losers in Las Vegas, LaFleur. <laughs> <laughs> and his team, Laser and Blazer. <laughs> laser and Blazer and all kinds of Azers. <laughs> Uh, I really need to watch that movie again. Yeah, I do too. ESPN 8, The Ocho. (laughs) It's a good film. Uh. As for me, I'm going to go with Kid Boo, also possibly Walter White. Walter White, also a good-ish one. I know a Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I heard something. What? I think they're making a spin off. Yeah. Through Breaking Gus Bad. Frank yeah. Is... No, it's just the lawyer. Just call Saul. It's the lawyer. Yeah. Based on the lawyer, yeah. It's called Just Call Saul. Better Call Saul. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Better Call Saul. Something like that. <sighs> Should be fun. Yeah, alright, uh, we good to move on? 
I don't know. I said my piece, yeah. Yep, I guess so. Yeah. So, next topic is music. What the hell are we going to talk about for music? I was thinking soundtracks yeah. for... Uh, I've um, never I've played been... the game, but the soundtrack for Anarchy Reigns, uh, you can find the complete collection on YouTube for easy. It's two really good, yeah. actually. Two soundtracks I've been really liking a lot. Um, first of all, Metal Gear Revengeance. We've been, that has a we've really good soundtrack. To death. But then also, Kill a Kill has a really good soundtrack. I, I didn't like that one, actually. Mm. I mean, there's a few songs that are okay, but well, nothing really... Songs, there's a few songs that make it worth it, in my yeah, and those songs tend to be repeated ad nauseum, so they wore out on me a little bit. Mm. That don't lose your way thing. I yeah, I think I think that's "Till My Body Runs Dry" or yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. For everything. Also, I can't sing I this know. week. I apologize, audience. That was pretty bad. Yeah, it yeah. was. I also, uh, also, uh, the the Megas had their album "History Repeating Red" released, and I've been listening to that a lot. It's um, basically a Mega Man-based band, sort of. Okay. The Megas and like History Repeating Red, just it has a, it's, it's really good. Um, I've been listening to it and I just keep getting more ideas to write for M1 and 470, because Mega Man and Minato seem to go together for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's, they're both robots. It's, it's something, maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe, except he's not really a robot, but whatever. Mm. Android, like, whatever. There's one song called I, Fe- I Refuse to Believe, and the chorus is I refuse to believe that I'm nothing more than a machine. And I like it. Okay. So, yeah, I've been listening to that a lot. I'm just sorry if I'm sounding tired or lack of energy. Right. Or Dude, I've Miranda barely been conscious for this entire episode. Yeah. So. I've been, I'm, I'm tired, yeah, and on top of that, allergies have been really kicking my butt. So. You mortals. Mm. You know what? I was made mortal because doctors in Arkansas don't know what allergies are and they'll remove your tonsils and adenoids because you have allergies because you're stupid. I used to have I used to have allergies. Then I decided not to. You know what? That's not how things work. Apparently it is because that's what happened. No, I'll 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 give it to this one. Yeah. You can just say no, I'm not doing it and it'll go away. Whatever diseases you have. Gavin Free approved. Me. It's a good me. Med- medical plan. <laughs> you should mm. know this stuff, okay. Slice. You started watching fucking Rooster Teeth content. I have, but I've... do you have any idea how much content they have? There's a lot, I'm yes. making my way through it, but there's a lot. Yeah, his YouTube feed has just been filled with Versus episodes for the past, like, couple days. Are you stalking me? Seriously, you keep... Your feed's in my... Just I like... subscribe to you, so your feed's in my thing, so... Oh, okay. I'm gonna get that's really there. weird to hear whenever you say that. It's like it's... <laughs> I ended up yeah. watching like 20 episodes myself, so... Yeah. Ah. I'm gonna get back I got to the point spoiled on that, because I have to preload <laughs> the episodes, so the title was just... Damn you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Five times Kenji's tried to bring us back on topic. Like, this yeah. is why I, I, this is why I decided not to... This is, I tried to be... Because we seem to seem to get on these a lot, but this is why I decided not to at first because it never works. Mm. <laughs> no. So you were saying, Ken? Sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> I used to think Grand Theft Auto had a good soundtrack until they started stopped doing the period piece games, and I realized yeah. the soundtrack was based entirely around the nostalgic kick of hearing the old ass songs that would come on the radio stations. Pretty much. Vice City's soundtrack was fucking amazing. Yeah, it was. That was a good soundtrack. Well, it was basically the 90s, the video game. 80s, so... actually. 80s oh, in that yeah. one, and 90s for San Andreas. And then they started doing all the... They had to start getting into the current uh, century. Yeah, they did the modern game, so... And the soundtrack suffered severely. I hate the radio in Grand Theft Auto V. I still maintain that 4 is the worst entry in the series ever. I don't think you find many people that regard. disagree. I think 3 wasn't as great as people made it out to be. It was a big step forward, but it wasn't a great game. Vice City, on the other hand, was amazing. 
except for all the water that you drowned in everywhere. Uh, well, there was so much Miami's water. Like I drowned. <laughs> I drowned so much more in that game than I drowned in three. Mm. Also, the planes worked, so there was a plus in that way too. Yeah. Was that the one where you flew to? Vi no, that's not the one where you flew to Liberty City. That was San Andreas, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a weird sequence. It was. Yeah. Nostalgic, though. A little bit. Even I recognize that location. I only played like a quarter of Liberty City where it just drops you on that one corner on the Mafia restaurant or whatever it was. Yeah. And I recognize the place. So that was weird. What were we talking about? Music. Yes, music. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I don't listen to as many soundtracks as... As I used to. I used to listen to like the Persona soundtrack all the time and the fucking remix oh, yeah, CDs yeah. that they did. They yeah. were great. Mm -hmm. Doing weird jazz remixes of songs and stuff. That was cool. But, uh, I've been really liking No Game No Life soundtrack so far. I haven't. I don't like that soundtrack. I just don't. Really? I don't like the music in it. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I like it. It sounds kind of... Parts of it sound kind of video game-ish. A little bit. And I kind of like those. It's weird. I don't, I, I don't like the music and I don't like the visuals, but I like the plot enough that I still keep watching. <laughs> did you see the newest episode? Yes, I did. Like, seriously. I, I have a friend who likes... No Game, No Life latest episode, oh my gosh, because my friend likes physics, so I showed the whole game in that to him, and he was like, this doesn't work. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> And I'm like, this is anime. This is me teaching you that anime and physics don't work together. Even when they try. Even when they try. Especially when they try. <laughs> yeah, especially. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I don't like. I don't like. That. I do like the Rooster Teeth soundtracks. They are always mm. amazing. Yeah, I'll have to give you them back. Cause they do sound really good. I got a couple songs on my uh, iPhone. Yeah. I haven't heard any of them, so clearly I've I haven't progressed enough through their archive yet. No, you haven't because you still you've started watching Rooster Teeth content, but you have not watched Red vs. Blue yet. This is baffling to me. How have you still yeah, not watched blasphemous. any of it? <laughs> it's because the first see a few seasons I've been told are kind of boring. They are. So start at season know. six. I can't it's not about do the story, that. It's about the jokes. I can't just start at season six. That doesn't work. Yes, Not it for does. me, anyway. It absolutely does. What, do they reboot the series or something? Or how does that... Ish. How they, is that they bring in a new character who is basically going to be you. You are going to be entering the series from his perspective. So you get reintroduced ah. to all the characters and stuff through him and such things. So that is probably the best point to jump in at. People think the first few seasons are boring because it's literally a show about nothing. Mm. Mm. I suppose the episodes are short as well. That's a benefit. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half per season. I'll probably YouTube it and find like a whole season collection or something. Probably. It's good. But yeah, the soundtracks are amazing. For like Red vs. Blue season 8 through 10... And the Ruby soundtrack, that's good stuff. Good stuff. And I really love Casey Lee Williams' voice. She is an amazing singer for like, what was it, she 13 when she started doing the soundtracks? Mm. You know, it's nuts. There you go. Young, talented people. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. The <laughs> There's so many versions of that song. I don't know where you're going with it. When I ask yeah. for sons, More sons, you're the saddest bunch <laughs> I've ever, I ever met. met. But you can you bet, can bet before, before you're through. Mr. Some... I'll <laughs> make, a man make a man out of, out of you. you. <laughs> That was great because Zero is not quite in sync with you, so we got sort of a no. a call and response thing going on there. Yeah, kind of. Can't you say yeah. line then Zero echoes the last few words? That was great. 
That, that's how it always seems to work out. I'm just terrible at like. No, it was good. It sounded great. Yeah. yeah, it was fine. I kind <laughs> yeah. of expected the Dragon Ball Z version, though, not the original one. I didn't want to do that one. Aww. To control the world. I don't think I'm ready. Is he so Shut sad? up, you nerd. <laughs> yeah, we're not singing that. Cause anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Disney soundtracks. Thank you, uh, Ken, for that shout. But they're all most always amazing. A lot of Disney songs are really good. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't wish I thought knew about the lyric that. to the Gaston song. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Gaston. It's Gaston. That's like my soundtrack. It's like, <laughs> it's like the theme to my life. Yeah, technically that's also a villain song, so it would have been a nice bridge from previous topic to this one. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, what do you think of Gaston as a villain? I actually um, like him. I mean, I hate him, but I like him as a villain. Yeah, he kind of works. I think he's awesome. Mm. As a human being. <laughs> <laughs> no one... <laughs> okay. I'm I'm We're gonna... not going to start singing every song. I'm not gonna sing it. I, I have to control it myself. Just done musical theater. What have you done to me? Made you karaoke tastic, I guess. <laughs> I, I like karaoke. Whenever there's a karaoke, I always go up and I sing. Yeah, I'm that guy. Oh, yeah. I also like pretty much every song on Doctor Horrible Sing Along Blog. Shocking. <laughs> For good reason. Those are good. Yeah. <laughs> Slipping is an amazing song. I like Brand New Day. Also a good one. I prefer Slipping, but yeah. Also the uh, reprise one at the end. I can't remember what it's called. I don't either. Not sure. Hmm. I want to say I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to find. Wanted. That's the one. Something. That's the refrain that they keep singing, but yes. Something like that. Everything You Ever, I think it was. Specifically the title. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, we should probably move yeah, on. Yeah, let's 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 move on. It really bothers me that Google keeps searching everything three times. For me. What do you mean? I don't know why, but it just keeps. Every time I search something in a fucking address bar, it keeps treating it like I typed it three times. So right now, my Google search bar is the raid, the raid, the raid. I have no idea why it's doing that, but it's annoying. Hmm. Uh, also, I have no idea whether it would actually affect the search, because it's just the same word over and over again. Um, Alright, so the next topic is... I should probably have linked a bunch of stuff in that, but I didn't. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, uh, soundtracks we talked about. What did we talk about? Disney. Uh, I don't even. I don't know. I remember bringing up Grand Theft Auto soundtracks. I remember hearing something about Kill the Kill. Alright, that was it. There's probably more, but I don't remember it. Okay, we'll call that. Done then. Disney, Red vs. Blue, GTA, yeah. Kill a Kill. There. Not that kind of done, zero. What? Alright. No, I'm, I'm just not. I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. Why is everyone half asleep? I'm not half asleep. It's hot, okay? It is. It really is. Especially in California. Mm. It's not here. Okay, that's more understandable, I suppose. It's like 50 yeah. degrees here. <sighs> it's just been It's just been 90 degrees every single day. We are literally just it's like starting 70 a heat here, wave but I have here. an air conditioner. It's not cool. I'm gonna have a bad time this week. <sighs> Alright, mm -hmm. next topic. Is the question that we got, well, one of two, well, technically one of three, but Neil, we're not doing yours this week. Meh. So, uh, how do we find recommendations? Is the first question. Uh, 
we go into our favourites list or our alerts list and find stories that we've read and we liked enough to favourite or alert them. And pick Or one. we blindly recommend whatever we were reading at the time. Assuming it was good. I, even then, I, I could be on chapter two and I've recommended <laughs> stuff before. Mm. Or recommendably bad. Like yeah, you a should couple, be around for the sc- like A couple of times yeah. I picked out the really bad ones for examples of how not to do things, so... Or to laugh at them. Yeah, that's... I think we've also had a few anti-recommendations as well. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You should see the scramble we get into when we realize we have nothing to recommend on a given week. Pretty much. I don't. Not, I don't this yeah. week. Look forward to that. <laughs> I actually have something. I have something that I might have oh. recommended it already. I don't remember. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, and second question is... We got time, so, yeah. Who is the best big three protagonist? Now, I feel like I should frame this question by realizing that, by stating right off the bat that we pretty much think all the big three protagonists have at least one thing about them that sucks incredibly. Um... Off the top of my head, would... Naruto is annoying, Luffy is retarded, and Ichigo... Actually, Ichigo's not terrible, generally. Per... As yeah, a protagonist. He's not, ter- he's not terrible, but the, the the entire I'm every species ever thing kind of really pisses me Yeah, the circumstances surrounding him are terrible. Yeah. As a protagonist, he isn't terrible. Yeah. yeah, as a character, I'm okay with him, but he has no interest in relationships at all. He hasn't made any kind of anything, and that makes writing romance for him weird. I should clarify both platonic and romantic relationships. Yeah. Either way, he's not interested, so that makes character interactions really difficult. He's protective, that's kind of his thing. I mean, that's what his name means, but... Um, Technically. That's it. Also, yeah. Strawberry, but yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Luffy is more comedy-based, but he does have moments when he really shines as a protagonist. But they are spaced out by arcs of really retarded behavior. Yeah, so there's that. Naruto, I'm just sick of at this point, so I don't want to. Yep. Like, Naruto, you can't pin down at this point, because it's. I don't he know. He is friendship there's and too love much man. action. He's yeah, Ninja that's... Jesus. That's, that's what he's been pinned down as. He's Ninja Jesus. He... There's so much fighting, he can't be anything but a one note character. Yeah, so... Well, it seems like, anyway. It felt like they were actually trying to make him into something more three-dimensional at one point. That was the and Waterfall of Truth Ninja. thing, yeah? And then it, Yeah, and then it became Ninja Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of why I like Ichio. He's a departure from the regular Shonen protagonist in many different ways. Not, not completely, but in a few ways, he kind of is. He's smart. Like actually, yeah. I think his grades were above average, so he's really yeah. smart. It's just he's pretty smart. Mm. Okay, I'm so... gonna I'm gonna pick out my biggest biggest problem with Naruto. Well, that might be overstating it, but one of the main flaws I have with Naruto as a protagonist, and that is from the Waterfall of Truth thing. It bothers me that they acknowledge that he could not possibly be as carefree and okay with the whole village hating him thing as they pretend he is. They acknowledge that, and he acknowledges that, but then he accepts it, and then the story treats it as if it's all gone away again. Oh wow, they just drop a big realization? I would have no idea what that is. I'm just not familiar with that at all. God, I hate that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, So, so yeah. They deal with it, and then pretend it never happened. Pretty much, so I did not like that. That, that. I did not appreciate character growth and then pretending it didn't happen again. That was not cool. That's not how you treat character development. That's not how it works. Not really, no. Mm. I think they're just moving so fast in different things that uh, it's, I don't know. They they don't give the characters enough time to think about it. Mm. I mean, they literally or, do the persona thing of, I am going to accept my dark side and all that stuff. And yeah, while, that was straight out of persona, wasn't it? It was. And while 
yes, you accept your dark side, that doesn't mean it goes away. I mean, even in Persona, the dark side became the Persona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was still there. It doesn't, it doesn't go away, it just becomes your strength. Yeah. I, I kind of would have... I wanted one of them to come back at some point. Like, one of them not accepting themselves completely and just kind of half doing it. Mm. Kanji or Naoto, maybe. Anyway, we were talking about the big three, and I got sidetracked a little bit. Right, yeah. Ichigo had his hollow form, and he kind of turned that into his own strength. (sighs) Yeah, but then they completely undid that. Yeah, and then they ruined it with writing. But, like... Like I like I say, like for me, Bleach really ended right after Aizen died. You know, it really should have. After that, that's that's when it. So that that's if they had ended it there, this wouldn't even be a conversation. Ichigo would have won it, immediately. Yeah, yeah. And it would. I still think yeah. he won, but uh, that's he still me. wins. Yeah. It's just it's just closer than it would have been. Yeah. I, th- I think I would actually say Luffy, but he's just, he has way too many stupid moments, and that's, uh, I hate the idiot ball. It's my worst, least favorite uh, trope. It's technically not an idiot ball when he's constantly carrying it with him. It's more like an idiot ball and chain. Yeah. It's chained to him. He can never release it. Or idiot memento or something. He just know. gets someone else to hold it for him occasionally so he can do something for like five seconds, and then he's dragging it round behind him again. That's literally the definition of what happened. <laughs> the only way Luffy has his moments of not idiotism, idiotism is when someone else picks up the slack for a moment. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's really comedy-based, you know? Like Yeah, uh, but that's, like, that's the easy way to do comedy. Yeah, it really mm. is. You can't, you can't just say it's comedy-based when... In reality, the show is an action show. Yeah, it really is. And then they keep trying to throw in comedy. They keep trying to force it down your throat. Sometimes it works. Mm. Sometimes it just makes the character look retarded. Or act as he really truly is. Which is retarded. Yep. Thank goodness for them sandals. Otherwise he'd never have tied shoes. Oh, Yeah. yeah. Took me a second to get mm-hmm. that. Could get Velcro. Why is Velcro not getting... cool? I don't know. Velcro. It should be. I mean, it's just convenient. I don't spend like 30 I, seconds tying my shoes the, every probably day. The, probably the sound. The only reason I switched back to regular shoes instead of the Velcro ones I used to wear was because I couldn't find the Velcro ones of my size anymore. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I need to go online and see if I can buy some fucking Velcro shoes. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm looking on Amazon right now. I, I like how our topic went from three protagonists, big three, which one's best, to Velcro shoes. People at my high school used to wear Heelys. Dude, Heelys. I almost bought some Seriously. Heelys. I almost did. I, I, thought, I honestly thought about it. because My like, little brother crazy. did. My little brother did. He bought Heelys, and those wheels always break. Like, seriously. Yeah, I imagine they would. That's a lot of wear and tear on those things. And when it's hot, they can even melt. (laughs) (laughs) Not worth it. I think that's very worth it. That sounds awesome. (laughs) Is that worth it? Why is melting wheels worth it? Just to have it happen and to say it happened, just, I don't know. It's a cool story to tell. Dude, I was going around on my Heelys and then I like suddenly stopped and I looked down and my wheels melted. But well, like, you undersold it, but yeah, they just kind of slightly melted. So now I can't, you know, do anything with these wheels. I have to go and buy more. Yeah. You know, I might actually buy some Velcro shoes on this podcast. Huh. Uh, Seriously, dude, Amazon's got, like, dozens of different types and stuff. You could find them. Uh Okay, that sounds cool. I'll have to do that later. Yeah. Check that out. (laughs) Anyway, Anyway. recommendations, I believe. Are we on recommendations already? I 
I think. I thought we, we were done with our... I thought we determined that they are all bad, but Ichigo's just the lesser of evil. The least bad, yeah, yes. The worst series, but the best protagonist of the options given. Boy, is that a big asterisk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so recommendations. Who's going first? I don't think anyone else has one except for me. I recommend nothing. You should just go out and do final exams like I am. Unless you already graduated and are a fucking adult. You know Unless what? you dropped Screw out. You. Screw you. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Ken, you want to go? Then I'll do mine. Yeah, okay. This is a Fallout fic, and it's called Wanderer's Diary. And it's pretty much, like, it's pretty much told in, as it sounds, the earlier portions are basically written transcripts of the Wanderer's quest across the Capital Wasteland, only he's a fucking sociopath. I love those. He's, I'll have to read that so one. It's so great, and later on they put, he started getting, like, holotape audio logs of his interactions with people, which just make it so much better. Link, please. Seriously, I want to read yeah, this. Yeah, hold on. So... Fallen fics are really hard to come mm, by. Good ones, and good it, ones. This fic is, ba I swear to God, it is written for Fallout fans by Fallout fans because his reaction to some of the stuff that happened is my exact reaction. Like, Arafu, I fucking hate that place. Which one was that? It's like Cannibal the town, town on the, it's like the town on the end of the bridge where all the fucking cannibal vampires are attacking and stuff. Uh... Oh, that one. Okay, the bridge town. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hate that town. Apparently he shares that <laughs> philosophy to the tenth degree. Mm. To the explosive degree? You could say that. Awesome. <laughs> I love it so much. Pizza making me sleepy. It's not cool. <clears throat> he even goes into did, like the. Did you say pizza was making me sleepy? It's making me sleepy. Oh, okay. Mm. That was weird. Yeah. Sorry. What were you saying, Ken? Like, even the Mothership Zeta, and it's actually pretty, Mothership Zeta thing is fucking hilarious, but it actually is pretty deep in some points. Like, in the pit, the pit D DLC, it's actually really good in some parts. Hmm. And it pretty much goes through the entire Fallout thing. Like, you're following the main storyline and stuff, it's just the way it's done. I enjoy it. Hmm. Uh, the retcon story as well, or does it do the canon one? It's pretty much straight up canon, it doesn't really retcon anything. Ah, okay. But it's the way it's done that I just... I enjoyed the whole thing. Because if it was written before that DLC, then I guess he would die at that point. Unless the author wanted him to live, I guess. <laughs> yeah, apparently... I think it was... When was it published? Uh, it was published... Huh, yeah, it was published last year, so it was, all the stuff was out. Oh, mm. yeah, okay, yeah. Long since out. Yeah. Hmm where you could actually not be a retard and I really have to stop saying that word when uh, you get to the final area and you have Fox with you who is radiation proof <laughs> yeah most good characters will have Fox with them by that point yeah the radiation proof character and you're being told to get into a radiation ch chamber and kill yourself yeah who is not mindless by the way he's actually really intelligent yeah. more than understand the instructions to shut it off unlike most super mutants but no. In fact, if memory says what he actually she yeah, he lamps, would would tell yeah, he you is the fuck out of it. says no, this is your moment. <laughs> yeah, lamp shade the fuck out of that. In this. <laughs> this is your moment. You go die now. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work when it's a suicidal task. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I'd read the story, it's fucking good. You drink that oh. glass of milk, person who's allergic to milk. <laughs> <laughs> you shit yourself to death, lactose intolerant person. <laughs> <laughs> Go stick your hand in that hornet's nest, you're the only one who can. <laughs> this is your battle. Your story. God, hornets are probably like my worst fear ever. Because like, I'm apophobic, I am deathly afraid of bees, we've mentioned this before. Hornets are like bees on super steroids. It's yeah, they're like super bees. Yeah, no, I'm. 
Any place that has hornets, I never want to go, and I'm pretty sure Japan has hornets, so I can never go oh, to yeah, Japan. Oh yeah, big ones. <laughs> so with a, their sting will kill people. Mm. So yeah, that's horrifying. I'm actually shaking a little bit. I'm not even kidding. So uh, <laughs> we just um <clears throat> yeah. So moving on from that. Yeah, uh, my recommendation. I'm pretty sure I've recommended this before, but I'm going to do it again because it updated recently. Uh, Harry from Another World by Sprinter 1988. It is your standard uh, alternate Harry Potter gets uh, transported to canon Harry Potter world, and he is all grizzled and war veterany and kind of awesome and takes shit from nobody. Pretty awesome. Guilty pleasure, basically. No, it's actually pretty well written and stuff. Hmm. So. It's a nice change of pace, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, so that's a good one, and I'm definitely going to add that to the link dump. And that is my recommendation for this week. And I think that pretty much wraps everything up for this episode of the Fan Flux podcast, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say I have one, but since I closed down Chrome before we started, I don't have... I can't even look at what I was reading. It was probably just some crap by Mega Matt. I'm reading a lot of that lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't like his writing. I just don't. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to evolve to me. Huh? It doesn't... I'm forgiving if it evolves over time, but his newer stuff doesn't seem any better than his older stuff. Like, he doesn't try to improve on it. Talking about the same Mega Matt? Not even a little. Uh, the guy who does Harry Kara pairings in basically every fic. Yeah. That's who I was thinking of. Who's Ken thinking of? That's what I said. Oh. I didn't know you read Harry Potter stuff. I tried to. Some I don't. I tried to before. Hmm. I hope he wasn't the one that turned you away from it. Yeah, there are, there are better example. writers. Guaranteed. I'll remember that. Like, hey, you know, Casey's written something, and I beta read it. I have. It, it's so. not amazing. Do you want me? It's to not read long, it? not especially. No, oh. that one needs some tuning up. The Naruto crossover is pretty okay, though. Right. Uh. Right. Shameless plugging aside. Hmm. Uh. So, hang on, I've got to fucking pull up Audacity to make sure I'm recording the outro. So, and um, what, what was the outro? Seriously, I don't my know. mind is going. It, it's melting in. Are you stroking out? A little bit. Um, Thanks for coming. Thank you for listening. Right, so, thank, thank you. Podcast. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. You jump started me. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to the Final Flux Podcast, episode 35. If you'd like to get in contact with us, you can do so through the Blogspot page, the comments, or our own personal profiles on fanfiction.net, or through the freaking YouTube channel that we just added. Yay! Yay! Neil, you cheeky bastard. Stop it. Not gonna work anymore. What? We appreciate the questions, but not while we're recording. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna <laughs> do that anymore. If you, in case you really have figured out our time frame for doing this, which I'm is actually really he has. impressive. He's been, he's I'm, done this I'm like three weeks. I'm pretty sure we've said it before, actually. So it wasn't really cracking the code; it was just paying attention and actually <laughs> getting his yeah. shit on time. Yeah. All right, so. Uh... Yeah, thanks for listening See to the Final Flux time. Podcast episode 35. Bye now. Later. Bye. Seriously, buy an air conditioner. What's wrong with you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. I don't want you to die. I like doing these, and you're the one organizing it. I'm gonna stop recording now. <laughs>